Hello, and welcome to this instructional video which will tell you how to make basic skies for source maps. We're working from the map in tutorials 1 and 2. First off, you need to select the tool skybox texture, filter for tool space sky, and select tool skybox, not tool sky fog. Apply this texture to the ceiling. In game, you'll see the skybox texture in place of what you see here. However, this brush acts as an invisible ceiling, so you want to raise it up to a good height, well, depending on your map, and then select the walls you have for the outside of the map, copy and paste them, apply the skybox texture to them, and stick them on top of the walls you already had, and bring the ceiling down to fit. Now, to light it, the light you already have won't suffice as sunlight, so change its class to Light Environment. Set the pitch to minus 90, say, although a more natural angle is between minus 30 and minus 60. You can also set the angle up here, so you can set the direction it is shining in. Now, Set the brightness to 600 and the ambient brightness to 200. A natural looking colour is either white or slightly yellow, as you might have guessed. Now that's done, you've got the sky and sunlight, which is what you need for an outdoor map. You can set the skybox texture by clicking Map, Map Properties, and then setting the skybox texture name to, say, Train. I think that's a good skybox texture. It's nice blue sky and white clouds, although I will put a link in the video description to a complete list of skybox textures. Now that's done, you've got the basis of your outdoor map. However, since these skybox textured brushes will act as an invisible wall, which you can bounce grenades off, you will wish to move them slightly away from the boundary of your map such that you will have the outer wall which players can reach and then beyond that the actual skybox. You may wish to do something like I'm doing, if my camera would work properly, and not spin, but I think you can get the gist of it. Oh god. Right, now the camera's behaving itself again, and I've had a chance to expand the skybox. You can see how the area the players are limited to is well within the actual skybox, which does act as invisible walls. So, one thing I'll say about the light environment, it doesn't matter where you put it in your map, unlike the lights, although you should only have one light environment in any one map. If there's a chance the players can jump over the wall to the outside, you can simply copy the wall, paste it, and give it the player clip texture. This will be invisible in game and soft to things like grenades and other stuff. The only thing it does stop is players from moving through it. So this will stop any chance of players getting to the outside where the skybox is. This will s serve perfectly well as an outdoor map. Well, I imagine you'd make it a bit more interesting than this. That's how you make a sky.